Hey, what's going on? It's Dominic Cruz here, Fit and Rich Crew. Today is September 17th, 2013. I know I haven't been making uh, a lot of videos lately. I've just been really, um, been really busy, actually. You know, um, as someone who's setting goals, you know, is for like reaching the dreams that um, that I want. You know, uh, I've been working on those really, really hard. Like I'm, been, um, as most of you know already, you know, I'm, I'm, sh I'm striving for the pros and. Uh, pro baseball and you know I won't stop until you know I gave it my all and it's one of the reasons why I haven't been making um videos lately and I'm trying to you know work my way around it to make us uh, to make a video and share with you my wisdom my knowledge you know to help you um to help you, you know set your goals and reach for your dreams because that's really important you know it's really important for society you know for everybody for everybody in this society you know to set your set your goals because we all had a dream once and all of a sudden it's not our dream anymore I mean it was like I said in my previous videos it was just a thought um but it's just it just it, it just amazes me you know that people just give up uh, especially when they find out it's hard let me tell you reaching for your dreams it is hard and you can't expect it to be easy because if it was easy then everybody would be living a good life right now but uh oof but you know one of the things that I I started you know I'll tell you guys this story you know why did I decide you know to go after this dream of mine you know it was my dream ever since I was a kid but I stopped the game at age 21 um but why did I get back in it I was out partying for the, for the past, you know, I was out dancing, you know, I was dancing, doing my thing, you know, because I actually believed, you know, dancing would benefit me a lot, and, and I would have actually become really good. I actually became a professional dancer as well, but, you know, through those years, I've been partying a lot, you know, doing all this other stuff, I mean, I wasn't doing, like, anything like, whoa, that's hardcore, I wasn't doing anything, like, hardcore like that, but I was just, like, partying, you know, bar hopping, doing my dance gigs, learning my dancing, you know, learning ballet, all those techniques. And one thing that I, it kept bugging me, you know, even if it was like, it, it was just a little bit, it kept bugging me that I quit, that I actually stopped pursuing my first dream um, at age 21. I It actually started bugging me uh, a few months ago, actually, back in May, because I started seeing all these signs, you know, especially after college, um, after, you know, completing the major courses, uh, my major courses, courses, um, I started seeing, you know, I'm getting tickets to baseball games, I'm going to baseball games, I'm going to batting cages, I'm going, I'm, I'm throwing baseball randomly, like a spontaneous, it's like spontaneous moments, you know, just going out to throw the baseball and hit the baseball and da 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 and it, it was creeping up on me. It was creeping up on me. Now, maybe the first two years that I, like, said stop, I'll stop, it didn't creep on me. But the the last two, I was like, I'm not, I looked at it, and I was like, nah, I know it's not. I know it's not. And then, you know, as soon as I, I'm, I'm completing, completing school, um, it started to hit me again. And I didn't think it would hit me as hard as, like, because... There are so many, it's it's an opportunity, it's, there's so many opportunities out there that, you know, that can help me get to that level, and I couldn't believe that I, I, I didn't take advantage of those, but, you know, thank God that I still have those, uh, I can still take those opportunities to pursue those, uh, to pursue my dream, to, comp to, to get up there in my dream, because I don't want to just give up, I don't want to tell, you know, my kids in the future that, yeah, I did it, I did it back then, I stopped, though, because I didn't make it, they cut me because, you know, I wasn't what they were looking for, but I, I just gotta say, it, it's like, I don't want to, you know, give my kids in the future an example that I failed, I want them to know that I gave it my all, meaning I went to the gym, every day I went to I went I did my workouts on a weekly basis um, you know I did I did my workouts like about three four times a week you know and I'll go to the gym three four to five times a week you know and and uh, 
you know, I want to be able to tell them I did this and I did this. I went over there, you know, I got up to this, I got, I got this, I got this far, I got this far. But as time kept going on, um, this happened, this happened. Actually, I don't want to give that excuse, but I, I mean, I want them to know that I gave it my all rather than just saying, yeah, I did it, but, you know, I didn't make it on my first try. I want them to know that I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried and I got there because in that in, in the future, I want them to know, you know, I want to lead by example. I want them to know, you know, you got to you got to get failure. You got to go through failure to gain the experience, to gain the momentum and to succeed. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much what's been going on, you know, uh, you know, I've been striving, I've been striving, and, uh, I, it's just really, really cool, you know, I, I'm still blown away, you know, what I've been doing lately, especially, you know, on, on the, um, I'll change the subject, I'll just I'll change the subject a little bit, you know, especially with the online marketing, it's been helping me out, going you know, pursuing this dream of mine because, you know, without this, you know, without these kind of opportunities, you know, people may call it a scam and stuff like that. They may say it's not going to work, but let me tell you, it only works if you work it. It only works if you learn it. It only works if you follow the system. And that's actually what I've been doing. And how, how, how do I get this? How do I succeed in it? Make your goal bigger than your the income that you want to get <laughs> you know it's the goal that I want you know I don't care about anything else I want this goal I mean it's uh it's crazy uh how far it's come and you know we're entering fall and baseball season's coming to an uh the baseball seasons you know is coming to an end soon and you know be uh postseason and then it's the off season I'm in my off season mode right now but you know coming this month, or I think I believe it's next month, I'm gonna start getting back on. I'm gonna start getting back on track and you know playing on teams. Da 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 da. da. I'm gonna go wherever there is, you know. Especially if the challenge is like this high. If if it's like beyond me, I'm still gonna take that challenge because I gotta go through that, you know, to experience it. To get and and if I fail it, you know, I gotta gain that. I gotta learn from that, and I gotta gain that momentum and then push forward, you know. So, uh, you know. Just like I actually learned this, you know, from one dance teacher that I had back in San Diego State, and it's just like the only thing I actually 